from the YouTube Dog Show. This is Week Now Update with Ellie Euler, and now Chevy Chase's heir apparent on Saturday Night Live's Weekend Update, Ellie Cardin Euler. Ha! Welcome to Week Now Update. I am Ellie Cardin Euler, and let's be honest, <laughs> I'm the only Ellie Cardin Euler around. Yes, indeed, on the YouTube screen. Yes. All right. You got Ace Red uh, in Weekend Dojo uh, on your South by like the uh, winner's list tonight, you know, while both of them uh, deal with the uh, anime stuff and things like that. You also got Mars Via Fanatic, Javier Fanatic, and Supercar Fanatic with the uh, automobile related video. So, yeah, there you go. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the man who has. More slogans than Eric Chase's uh, famous good night and have a famous tomorrow or the uh, Adam Chevy Chase. Fucking, you're not Adam Mueller. You fucking love me. Sorry, man. Bastard. I'm calling 911. Hey, I'm sorry, man. Come on. Bro, come on. Right when it has been called, the police is coming. Well, don't do this to me, okay? Now, tonight we're talking about Chevy Chase. Now, you probably didn't know this, but Chevy Chase uh, is now saying that Saturday Night Live sucks. It does. Yep, he's not wrong. I mean, uh, he was on the show in the 70s, and the show was really good. And, okay. listen to this, right? He thought that the whole show now is just catering to young people who would laugh at anything. Yeah. Hey, not us, Chevy. Alright, you don't like the show either. You're fucking 22. Still. Whatever. Now, he actually wanted to host the show again. Then again, NBC thinks that he's too old. Really? The guy is, what, uh, in his 70s? Yep. Oh, boy. And they actually had Betty White on the show? And she celebrated her 90th birthday? Well, what? Ah, please. No. On. Interesting. All right. Now, Not hosting. On. Whatever. Whatever. Okay. Now listen to this, right? Chevy is technically TV's voice of reason, and as a matter of fact, I think that uh, Chevy is right about more than just uh, one thing. Which brings us to tonight's top eight list. Here we go. Fucking spit on the screen. Sorry. Bad boy. Bad boy. Bad boy. Okay. Stop. Stop being some smart things that Chasey Chase has said over the years. Now listen up, pals. Number eight, the most fucking recent one. And the no fucking sucks. You all need a fucking job. Alright, calm down. No. Number seven. Late night TV needs to be revived. You fucking what? That's right, number six. Poverty is too politically correct. The fuck out my face, penguin. Number five. When I mean five, things are changing too quick. I don't have a mind to compensate change. Number four. People need to stop fighting. Stop fucking fighting. Stop fighting. Stop. Number three, some people are idiots. Duh! Yeah, calm down, big penguin. Calm the f down. Number two. What? What? I need a cop. What? Yo, what? I got, 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 after this fucking commercial in mind, I'm gonna kick his ass. You know what, dude? I'm out of here. Nick at night has the knack to be all it's cracked up to be. In fact, Nick at night is packed with exactly my kind of classic TV. This is the price tag on Empire's least expensive carpeting. Can you beat this price in Chicago? Well, maybe you can. 
But you may not get separate polyfoam padding. In fact, you may not get padding at all. You probably won't get 72-hour delivery, and you certainly won't get a free telephone or shampoo with your order. So I guess that makes $6.95 the best value in town after all, doesn't it? Well, don't just sit there. Call. 588-2300-EMPIRE. I'm not coming down till you do. Hello, people. My name is Elias. We're a guy. If you don't act before you can do this, I'm going to smack you over, over your green say I am. And now, Mr. Chase says, go fuck yourself, Saturday side, side Night Live. No. And here's the topic with, with the topic with, with the newscaster, Mr. Eli Kung. E, Eli, E, E. Let's go on with this. Okay. E. Whatever. He says here that uh, I don't want to put down Lauren or the cast, but I'll just say I'm amazed that Lauren has gone so low. I had to watch a little of it, and I just couldn't even believe it. You know, he couldn't fluff it. And People Magazine. That means a whole generation of group heads, blank heads laugh at the worst clopping humor in the world. You know what I mean? How could you dare give that generation worse Clap! Then they already have in their lives. It just drives me nuts. Drives me off the goddamn wall. Do you see that wall? It drives me off. Watch. I'm going up the wall right now. <laughs> now, listen to this, alright? Chevy Chase was on Saturday Night Live for a year and a half. Okay. Now, uh, he didn't say it, uh,. Well, actually, he did say it that Saturday Night Live uh, sucks, but look at this, all right? Listen to this, okay? You know, uh, he did name check Will Ferrell, Tina Fey, Kristen Wiig, and Eddie Murphy. Which Eddie Murphy? The one and only Eddie Murphy. Junior or senior? There is no, uh, there's only one Eddie Murphy. I thought he had a child in him. Um Eddie Murphy Jr. No, he never had a child. You fucking what? That's right. Now, listen Get this. the fuck. Listen to this, okay? Now, Will Ferrell said that uh, he's just not funny. Makes $25 million a picture. I'm like, really? Then he said uh, about NFA. I didn't see what all the uh, fall girl was about. She was good. Nonsense. Then... For Kristen Wiig, he said uh, uh, he said that uh, she had two things going for her. She had clear cut skirt shots, and she was pretty too. But what happened to her? Where did she go? And he China. He also thought that A. Murphy was uh, funny, but he said that uh, his uh, Stevie Wonder impression was not that hard. His skin is the same color. I'm like, really? Yep. Really, mate? Yep. Now, while I agree with most of what uh, Chevy said. You know, you really gonna play that racist card? It's not a racist. Eli. Yeah? If you're... <laughs> better be the same king color, or that's gonna be bl bl black face, or white face. And now, hmm, was, was, was blackface good? No, right? Right. So you better be the same king color. Right. You know, uh, Kerry Case uh, actually said that uh, the show uh, sucks. And I don't know if uh, any of you have uh, noticed this, but this show right here is actually a parody of Saturday Night Live's Weekend Update. It really is. Such an original name, Eli. I mean, uh, this is week now update. They're doing weekend update. Eli, they sound the fucking same. Well, yes, but let's be completely honest for a moment, right? Let's be real. It's, right. it's like saying I'm 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 gonna do a reboot. What is the re reboot called? It's it's from the Pow Power Puff Girls. I I I'm call I'm calling it the Power Puffet Girls. That's 
sounds uh, the same to me, almost the same. But exactly like what you're doing. But Adam, listen to this, right? If Kevin Cates were to uh, watch, uh, if Kevin Cates could watch this uh, show right now, and he would obviously say this show is better than uh, what Saturday Night Live has become. Possibly. And I think that uh, Kevin Cates uh, could be a guest on this program. Why? Because he could actually uh, help us uh, build our case and uh, and help people understand that late night TV does need to be changed. You lie. No, I'm serious. Change and revolutionize. You lie. What? It's freaking Saturday Night Live. Whatever. That means they die. Every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, blah, 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 blah. But until, uh, until, fu night. shut up. Until Saturday, when they come alive. Hence the name. Oh, boy. And that is the kind of joke that uh, would probably make uh, Kevin Case cringe. No, that is exactly the kind of joke that, that, that SNL will pull, you filthy little bugger. You know what, dude? I'm out of here. All right, folks. Right, that is the show for tonight. I'll see you all tomorrow. That's the news. I'm out. Peace. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.